Well, as you see by the title, we'll finally get into this video of what mods I've done to the car so far and how much I spent into it. So this car exactly, as you guys know, is one of the best cars to start off with. Um, a lot of the parts are very, uh, very cheap, um, especially JDM parts and stuff like that. You can find anything for these cars aftermarket. So it's very easy to build, but when you're building for both performance and looks, it can get a little costly so y'all see the cicadas out here it's crazy so i'm gonna try to do this video for you guys real quick on what mods i've done so far and how much i've put into the z for the past three years now and i haven't even gone into it much in, in, uh, yet so here we go so the first thing we're going to start with is the inside of the engine bay um we're going to talk about maintenance first i guess so for anybody who wanted to know what maintenance is like on a z guys it's really not even that bad as long as you keep up with your maintenance so far for the z with high mileage it has 123k i've only had one issue and that was basically caused because the car was sitting for a long time i know y'all can hear the cicadas out here it's, it's wild but the only issue i had was that coolant leak issue it started randomly uh last year in the summertime and you know it ended up to the the holes leaking and bursting and then it burst on my battery so i had to get a new battery and other than that that was it the coolant leak all they did is change out the the hoses put a, some other new little coolant heat thing i have the list i can show you guys the list from that i got from them and that only cost me about 500 dollars to fix and that is the only maintenance issues i had so far other than that you guys know with the oil cooler that was on myself i lowered my car we never replaced the oil cooler in a different location so when i went down on a bump it ended up breaking and also something from somebody's car smacked it so that's why it broke but let's get to the mods that i've done for the inside so you guys know i am on e85 so you can't really see it i can insert a picture on this clip somewhere here if i can get it to happen I do have 550 cc injectors, GTR spark plugs. And you guys see here the Z1 intakes. A little dusty right now. You can't really see it in the front. And these are catered. Look at that, guys. These things going crazy. You can't really see it somewhere under there. And that is for the engine bay. Really, it's an NA car, so no turbo, no nothing like that yet. And then we have the 19 row oil cooler. Perfect oil cooler, good for this uh, summer heat. Temps don't go over 180, as you see in my previous video. So the oil cooler is something you really need, but that is all the mods I have for the inside of the engine bay. Nothing too crazy, no turbo under here, no supercharger, but that is it. For the outside, um, the main thing right now I have is the lowering springs. I know you can't really see it as much, but they're back there, right there. You see the blue lowering springs, and I had spacers on the Z, so that would be for the outside. Um, the hood wrap, also, I did. So that's another exterior. New emblems. Stickers, of course, I spent a lot of money on stickers. Um, I got new side lights. More stickers, That's this is on the outside. And then here we have a diffuser. Nice little diffuser, a nice ring spoiler from Icon Motorsports, love it. And that is really on the exterior. I do have a new front lip. I did have another front lip also and I also, as you guys know, if you follow this channel, I did have other wheels, so I can insert a bunch of clips of how the Z used to look before I went with the stock, stockish look, but you see.
right now the wheels are tucked because I don't have the spaces in and those wheels are a lot smaller. So that is it for the outside. So down here, you guys see, we have this clean ISR exhaust. So I do have a full ISR exhaust, wire pipe, non-resonated test, uh, resonated test pipes, wire pipe in the cat back. And I did cut out the resonator, so that would be an exhaust. So I'll enter exhaust clip right here for you guys if you want to hear that ISR exhaust. Side. So one thing I have which you can't really see it's somewhere back here But I'll show a picture of what it is a upgraded fuel pump from air motive uh, 340 LPH so so A nice fuel pump upgraded somewhere back here and then we'll get into the inside of the car real quick Oh, These cicadas what the heck? I'm not gonna be in here too long. That's a little dusty. But on the inside mods we have done, simple shift knob, you see with the adapter. So this is auto adapter, plus the little shift knob. It looks really cool with the car. Stickers, more stickers, chore saw, but those are not really uh, mods, but those are things I've done to the car on the inside and also have the chore saw on the back. Um, uh, aside from the single exit didn't get to touch the steering wheel was going to get into doing that too the aftermarket one with the little lights LED lights and then the most expensive thing on here the Pioneer radio so guys this radio was about like thousand dollars in total all together um, yeah but it's a really good radio and for sure I can turn on the car real quick for a little bit ooh that ISR baby you guys see Pioneer, um, wireless Apple CarPlay and all that, so it's really good. I love it. This is a little main interface that it comes I already, with. I already have a whole video on that, so if you want to see it, you can definitely do that. But yeah, this thing is really nice. I love it. It was cost a lot, but it was definitely worth the upgrade, doubled in, all that. And then right here we have our little uh, side pocket right here. This is very good. It's like a car holder thing it fits right there on the side i put my phone in here i have the 12 pro max so it fits perfectly put my keys in there and that's it and then we have the little usb i've never used it yet i never really have to charge my phone i always have it charged up but if i ever needed to it's tucked in right there and that's really it for the inside of the car other than these beautiful stickers so turn this back off for you but that's it you no know, s charge 4 is here my brother so yeah, that's the true Asara. But guys, this is really all the mods I've done so far. I was gonna get into the Nismo body kit. I was gonna single turbo it and uh, you know get some new wheels again since I gave mine to Darius. But all together, guys, all these mods plus labor and everything, all the exhaust setups I've done on my channel adds up to 12k. So 12k put into this car or more actually. Um, I lost money at certain shops that didn't do jobs right and That's one thing that comes into play of course when you're figuring out new stuff, but all together guys This is a great car. It's fairly cheap fairly easy to build I did both performance and look so it kind of dips into both and I finish off with more performance So if you're really one-sided, it'll be fairly cheap if you're doing both or more It'll cost a lot more my plans for the Z 
we're probably gonna make it. You guys don't even understand a lot. <laughs> I had plans to do a whole rap and everything for the Z, a crazy rap, all that. But I'll get into a video on later about that whole situation. But guys, it's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. A quick little video of what mods I've done to the car so far, how it's sitting right now, current update. I know I don't get to do a lot of videos about the Z as much as I did before, but that's it. Super Bowl Mod Wheels, sign out. Something I did forget to add, I did do the quick bumper release after I took the bumper off. And yeah, there's a toilet too, so that's the last mod. Nothing really serious. Why do you like bro? Who is it on older? I got class like fold.